I'm Rizzy from WTH Food. And you know what I always crave for dinner? It's pasta, any kind of pasta. There's just something comforting about it that you crave for at night for some reason. Okay, so I'm glad that I have this one pot pasta recipe. So all you'll be needing is, of course, pasta noodles, tomato sauce, water, cooking oil, salt and pepper, basil, garlic, onion, mushroom, tomato paste, Italian seasoning, parsley and nutritional yeast for garnish. And of course, our ground meat. As usual, we have our oil at medium heat. All right, so now that the oil is hot, we can saute our onion and garlic. Uh, Alright, let's just let it brown for a minute. Alright, okay. So once it's so fragrant, we can add in our mushrooms. It's just the mushrooms that you get at the grocery, the pieces and stems. So again, you don't have to chop mushrooms. Just throw it in. Okay, and then we're just gonna let it brown. So once the mushroom is brown, we can add our tomato sauce. We'll just be using half of the bottle. And half. Okay. Then, tomato paste. Our basil. And Italian seasoning. Okay, then mix. Okay, then we season with salt and pepper. Now, we can add our pasta noodles. I'm using fusilli, but you can use whatever pasta noodles that you want. So just toss it in. Then add water. So the ratio that I do is almost like the same amount of the sauce as water because you need the water to fully cook the pasta noodles. So just make sure that the noodles are submerged. And mix. Okay, so now we cover the pot so that it can come to a boil. Once it's boiling, you can lower the heat. So yeah, it should take around 15 minutes to cook for the pasta noodles to cook. And every five minutes, it's okay to check the, the texture of the pasta and add more water if necessary. Okay. Okay, so while we're waiting for the pasta noodles to cook, let me just share that I've been vegan for over a year now. And I can say that I cook almost every day and I've discovered lots of quick and easy plant-based recipes. So if any of you are interested in transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle, just feel free to message us on our social media accounts because I'm the one answering those messages so I can give you like um, meal plan ideas and restaurant recommendations or anything that you may need, I'd be happy to help you. Okay, so let's check on it. Okay, so we can see that the water has boiled down already. Now let's check on the texture of the pasta. Okay, so now that it's al dente, we can add in our ground meat. Okay, so we're gonna add the ground meat. We're gonna use half of the pack. 
Okay, so another benefit of our products is that they're all fully cooked. Well, except for the nuggets and the spring roll that you just have to fry. But for the ground meat, shredded meat and corned beef, they're all fully cooked. You just have to heat them and you can eat them already. So compared to traditional animal-based meat, it's faster co to cook with these. So what we recommend is adding it towards the end of the cooking. Okay. So just mix. Let it cook for just about a minute. So at this point, you can add any other vegetables that you may have on your fridge like spinach or green olives would also be good. Okay, I think that's done. And garnish with nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor as a substitute for Parmesan. And some parsley. All right, so there you have it. I hope you get to try more plant-based foods in your life because it's worth your health. <laughs>